Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for the first ODI between Sri Lanka and Australia. Now keep in mind that before you get to the preview, join the Fantasy Crick Pro Telegram channel because you're going to get all the final team and updates there and this preview is powered by Nostra Pro. So this is what the team for today looks like. I'm going with one keeper, four batsmen, two all-rounders and four bowlers and I'm also going to mention some interesting GL rotations for you in the whole preview so let's get to it. So first up the keepers and the batters, one keeper I'll go with in this one, Kusal Mendes. Again he's looked in decent touch and Rajapaksa is going to be in the batting section for this game. So I think he's pretty much the best choice unless you want to go with Matthew Wade but I feel like the Sri Lankan spinners can neutralize him. Then the four batsmen for this one, I'm going to go with Steve Smith first up. That's the first name to mention in an ODI game. He bats so well and he manages to pace that innings really well. T20 series didn't go too great for him, but that last inning should give him some confidence. Second pick would be David Warner. Again, he had a decent T20 series. Not really any performance where he could take it all the way till the end, but in the ODIs he has some more time. And hence, is an amazing captain, your vice captain, he choice too. Third pick would be Labushain. He's coming off a decent T20 blast. He's also expected to bowl a bit. So yes, maybe you have a GL captain, your vice captain, he punt in this scenario and my last pick would be Nisanka. Now, in the T20s, we saw he was slightly hurried with the whole pace of the game. But no DIs, he has enough time to settle himself in. So I think this format should suit him well. And now the bowlers and all-rounders for this game. So in the batsmen, you saw some differential picks in comparison to the T20 format. But as far as the all-rounders and the bowlers are concerned, the structure is pretty similar. We'll go with Hasaranga and Maxwell in the all-rounder section. Now, Ashton Agar is a good choice if he bowls second because then there is pressure on Sri Lanka to attack him because the score I'm expecting to have decent scores from Australia when they bat first. But when they bat, when uh, Agar is bowling first, maybe not. And yes, apart from that, you keep in mind that Hasaranga will bowl full 10 overs. So he has that full opportunity. He can give you good amount of runs with the bat. And similarly, Maxwell is expected to bowl at least 4-5 overs if Australia are going to play with only four bowlers, hence their amazing captaincy and vice captaincy choices. Then four bowlers for this game. I'm going to go with Jai Richardson first up because that pace with which he was bowling looked really good. He was getting onto the bat and he can expect to get some movement because in the ODI there are two new balls as well. Josh Hazelwood is the second pick, obviously bowled really consistently, hit that line and length game after game and in ODI as a wicket taking opportunities are only more. Third choice would be, I'm not going to be too surprised with this one, but it should be Pat Cummins because he's going to get pace and bounce and Palakile, even though it's good for batting, he should be able to exploit something out of it and yes, he can bat too. And the last pick is Chamira, again similar reasons as to why we're picking in terms of like just like Cummins, he can get pace and bounce. So this is my dream team for today. You to go make your team now on the Nostra Pro app and also remember to use the code FANTASY PREVIEW to get a 100% cash back on your first deposit and join us on Fantasy Crick Pro for the final team and all the updates. All the good luck to you. So now we have the preview for the new concept for you. Five aside, in this scenario, you make your team with just five players with a captain and vice captain. Why are we doing this? Simply so that you can save some time and maybe if you're confused on some other options out of the 11, you simply pick five. Steve Smith is my one batsman. He's going to be my vice captain. I'm expecting him to come good in this format and there's not much to explain. He's pretty much one of the greats in the current era. Then you look at the all-rounders, I'm going to go with Hasaranga who's going to be my captain, he's going to have a lot of help as far as batting, bowling, both are concerned, expecting him to do both pretty well. Second pick, this is a credit saver and he's a man who I bank on a lot, Chamika Karuna Ratne, expecting him to bowl at least 5-6 overs in the ODIs and give you decent batting value, so I think he's a handy choice. And then you look at the two bowlers for this game, Hazelwood and Chamira, both of whom did decently in the T20 series, especially Hazelwood. Chamira was slightly up and down, but I'm expecting him to have a much better ODI series. Rest of the decisions based on the toss and the pitch, so you can join us on Fantasy Crick Pro for all those final updates. All the good luck to you. And also remember to use the code Fantasy Preview to get a 100% cash back on your first deposit. Stay tuned, win more, and all the good luck to you. So 
today we have a very interesting concept for you the pick section where you get a set of questions and you simply have to answer with either the number of runs or the number of boundaries that you predict are going to be made by a specific team or a specific player so simply put for each correct answer you get 20 points and for each negative or wrong answer you get eight minus points but there's something to boost you up there that's what we call as the boosters so with the boosters each correct point is going to get you double double the points there is yes and each booster that you use to save yourself so we have a negative booster as well where in case you answer it incorrectly you won't get minus points for that specific question so supremely interesting concept and now let's get to my picks for the game first one who will hit more fours between chandimal and labushain i'm going to back labushain he's coming off quite a lot of game time well chandimal not as much who will have a better batting strike rate between shanaka and carry again pretty straightforward look at how shanaka finished that last game i don't think there's too much doubt who will score more runs between mendes and finch i'm going with mendes because i'm expecting him to stay through that whole spin attack while finch might have some trouble will marcus stoinis score 30 runs or more maybe not because even in that last game because he got that finishing opportunity he was able to do so but will he get it in this game not too sure who will pick more wickets between chamira and richardson i'm going with chamira for this one because it's the longer format so i'm expecting him to settle into his line and lens and we see that as he bowls more overs he gets only better while richardson has come in for some panting at quite a few times which bowler will have the higher bowling economy rate between Ramesh Mendes and Cameron Green. Now these two guys are not even certain starters for now in this game. But if both play then Cameron Green. Which bowler will concede more runs between Jay Vikrama and Josh Hazelwood? Jay Vikrama because we saw that Australia wanted to attack the inexperienced spinner and he's that man in this team. How many aggregate bowlers will have an economy rate of 5 or more in this match? Less than 6, 8 or more. I think 8 or more because Palakele is pretty good for batting. How many aggregate batsmen will hit a 4 in this match? Less than 11, 13 or more. I'm not expecting as many batsmen to get in early. So I think less than 11. Who will win between Sri Lanka and Australia? Sri Lanka are coming off with some really good momentum. So I'm going to go with Sri Lanka here. How many aggregate wickets will be lost in this match? Now this is slightly tricky based totally on the pitch conditions, the toss over at conditions this call will be taken. So now I'm going with 17 or more. But yes, I'll take a final call on this on my telegram. How many aggregate runs will be scored in this match? Less than 450, 500 or more. I think 500 or more because like I mentioned, this pitch is supposed to be good for batting and so is the ground in terms of dimensions. And then finally, we have the power-ups where you select a doubler. If you're confident about an answer, no negative. If you're not so confident. So I'm going with who will score more runs. I'm going with the no negative there because slightly trickier Finch also was in good touch. While who will pick more wickets, I'm pretty confident on Chamira, so I'm going with the 2x on that one. So you two go on the Nostra Pro app, make all your picks right away, use the code Fantasy Preview, and you also get 100% cash back on your first deposit. And yes, I'll give you all our final picks on the uh, Telegram channel, Fantasy Crick Pro, so join us there right away. All the good luck to you.